sorry for the, any background noises. For some reason, my neighbor just turned on their truck. They're not even doing anything. Oh, they turned it off. Okay. So, Shaw Huss. Huss. I think, I don't know how to pronounce her name. If that's not how you pronounce it, I'm sorry. Commented, what if Asta learned how to control his demon form at the beginning of the anime? I'm not doing that in this series. I'll do it in the next series because I'm still uh, going over the Black Clover series. It's been a while since I've watched any of it. And I, and I started watching it when it first came out. But stopped because I had to wait forever for a new episode. So I currently went over so far the because uh, I'm reading it, not uh watching it. I'm reading it. I currently went over the first arc. This is part one to what if Deku, not Deku. <laughs> I'm so used to doing Deku ones. To what if Asta had uh, and if you're thinking. Uh, what if Deku had Asta's uh, anti magic uh, anti uh, magic sword, but it, instead of be anti quirk sword, I might do that. I'm not sure. But in this, we're doing what if Asta had copy or anti copy magic. That's the best name I could come up with for it. Basically, he has copy magic and anti magic. I think the way that how you get a devil I'm pretty sure there's a difference between a demon and a devil but how you get a devil uh, into the grim roar is when an elf I believe loses all hope and just go, fades into despair they turn into a dark elf which changes their grimoire to a five leaf grimoire which a devil will be trapped in like a devil will somehow find their way there we're saying it's going to be the same devil that Asta has with anti-magic. Uh, like it's magic, is anti-magic. But the grimoire that the elf used was copy magic. So I'm going to describe Asta's grimoire, how it looks. It has, like, if I remember correctly, when they get their grimoires, they have, like, like this colored aura around them. For Asta's, it's going to have, like, it's going to be slowly changing through each color and it's going to have a front cover but no back cover because he can learn his magic is somewhat endless because if you think about the uh Julius I think that's his name he uh he uh I'm pretty sure doesn't have a cover on uh, on the front or back of his grimoire because he has time magic and time doesn't have a beginning or an end. Asta's magic has a beginning, but it has no end. What his anti or his anti copy magic does, or anti magic or copy anti magic, copy anti magic. That's what I'm going with. All it does is he's able to copy spells from either touching the person's grimoire and reading it, or seeing the person's spell if they if. Asta sees it, they don't have the, he doesn't have the perfected form of it, like they do, he doesn't have that, he has to train with it to make it stronger, he has a weaker version of it, but he can make it stronger through training, and uh, he can input his anti-magic into it, so if he were to copy Nodell's, or however you pronounce her name, I'm just going to call her Nodell, if he was to copy one of her, like, water balls that shoot, he can infuse it with like anti-magic so when it hits the other person's attack no matter what it is the anti-magic will have an effect and he will he will uh so he doesn't have any spells in there but he it tells him what he has and this is somewhat the same also like the same stats except he's a bit smarter in this he's not as arrogant as he is in there in the actual series because he's had he has magical power and people people notice Asta a lot more because he has this weird magical presence at some points it feels like he has none at other points he has this weird fluctuating aura 
this magical aura coming off of him. At some points, with like when he's angry, just a bit of the devil slips through, just a bit that influences his uh, mana to make it sort of not evil, but sh sort of stronger, just a bit stronger. So yeah. Asta still has the very strong body because he doesn't know what his magic is. Since he doesn't know what his magic is, he thinks that his body must be strong just in case his magic requires his body to be strong. So, he trains, he trains, and he trains. We skip to the beginning of the anime, anime, anime where Asta... Uh, instead of not getting his grimoire, he gets it, and everyone noticing it. It's still, like, torn up, like, in the, uh, actual anime when he gets it, but it's been taken care of. It's been taken a lot more care of. It's in better condition because of how the grimoire is. And everyone's noticing it. Some of them were paying attention to Yuno because he had the four-leaf, uh, grimoire. But let's say just... Some people that are really close to Asta can see what his grimoire is, like the leaves, because it's just barely showing. They notice that the five leaf, and they're wondering what the five leaf is. Some people start looking at, they take their eyes off of you know, and they start seeing uh, uh, Asta's descending. They see all this radiant uh, magical energy coming off of it, but it has a beginning but no end, like no back cover. It has all these, like, all this different magical energy coming off of it. And it goes to Asta. So, during the training, instead of, like, the whole thing with the person happens. So, Asta sees his uh, chains. And he uh, he sees his chains, right? So, he's able to copy it. But instinctually, he puts anti-magic in it. So, when the chains, when the guy shoots chains at Asta's chains to try and deflect them, his chains immediately disappear. And I'm pretty sure when Asta did that, like when he uh, cut the guy's chains with his anti-magic uh, sword, didn't he absorb the magical energy? I don't know if that's what happened. That's what it looked like what happened. So we'll just say that's what happened, and it made his chains even stronger. And the attack did about the same damage as it did in the actual uh, anime. So, uh, what is it? Sorry about that, someone just drove by. I'm in my front yard and not in my backyard. So, uh, also trains, and let's say, uh, like a month in, how many months? Was it five months or six? I think it might have been five months of training for him. For him and, you know. So, he learned the, what is it, like, I forget what's is it a water fist that Sister Lily has? I don't I'm not sure. I think it's water fist. I'm just gonna say it's a water fist. So he learns that attack and he starts using it. But let's just for continuity's sake, he you he met someone with uh, a sword. Like with sword magic. He sees the person being able to pull swords out of the grimoire, which he asked to see the grimoire because he wants to be able to use swords as well. They ask what his magic is. He says his magic is copy magic. And they let him see their grimoire. He's a, he has a better control over it. But let's say he only has like two swords in this. He has a... But he basically has the big giant sword. And he has a small... Like just a... Basically the same sword that he's able to use other people's magic, but not able to use other people's magic, because he can use magic. He has that type of sword that he can shoot his magic through. Like, he can, uh, if he has fire, a fire type magic, he can swing the sword with that magic. And it's still technically an anti-quirk uh, not quirk. I'm so put up with, I'm so, uh, used to doing my hero at this point so they're training let's say just a couple of times asta went and saw yuno training 
let's say Asta finished his training early, and let's say it was probably about lunch. He went to go get he went to go get food, and like at the beginning, he asked to see Yuno's grimoire so he can copy his spells. Yuno said no, of course. So uh, Asta uh, was told by Sister Lily that Yuno hasn't come back yet, and she asked him to bring Yuno his lunch. So Asta does, does that. He already ate his. He's walking to find Yuno. He can hear the uh, wind, like his attacks, and instead of just because he's a bit smarter in this, he's not as arrogant. Well, he's not as dumb as he is. He's probably a bit higher up there. So he just he sees the attacks a couple times, and he learned the wind attack, just basically the cutting attack. So yeah, he learned that. And he eventually came out. He he called the Uno. He said, "Sister," he just said, "Sister Lily wanted me to give you this." We skip to the uh, when they're leaving. Uh, they have a lot easier time getting there. Same thing happens with Austin. Was it it's grilled snake or I think it was grilled snake? I want to say grilled snake. He gets that. They go to the test. Everyone's looking at Uno because they see his grimoire, and some of the people are noticing. Asta's grimoire, like when they when they show when Asta shows his grimoire to the person, uh, to get him into the Magic Knights, he notices his grimoire has no back to it, and it has like a five leaf clover on it. And uh, some people are noticing this and they're wondering what's up with this grimoire. And the guy asks if this is real grimoire. Asta says yes. Blah blah blah. We go to the tests. Asta doesn't ha really have a He's not as he can fly with his broom, but he's not as good with it because sometimes his magical power will disappear for a split second, making him fall. And people like the captains notice his magical power disappearing for a split second and reappearing, like his mana disappearing and reappearing. So, Asta, he's able to do most of the tests, like the flying and all that. He's able to do most of those. Then we skip to the battle. Asta is still considered the weakest person there by a lot of the people because he's not doing as well. But a lot of the people think he may be strong because he has this weird magical, uh, uh, what is it, this weird magical presence from him. So that uh, keeps going with my hero. So Asta, uh, when he's fighting... What is his name? Seki or something? Let's call him Seki. I think that's his name. He's fighting him. He does the whole thing about how you won't become a magic knight, blah, blah, blah. So, what Asta does is he pulls out his... He pulls out his big sword and his little sword. He puts his little sword... Let's say... Let's say Asta's wearing a belt, and he puts that on his belt. People are wondering what he's doing. And he does the same attack... As he does in the anime, except when, as soon as his big sword hits the shield, or the magic sphere or whatever, he immediately pulls out his other sword and hits him with water. Actually, not water, wind. He hits him with wind, which he's been pr which he's pr practicing to use. Which let's say it makes a small tornado on the guy. Like, he, he said with a small tornado. And this tears some of his clothes to shreds and throws the guy against the wall. People saw how effortlessly he defeated him. It's the same, because it's about the same with the Magic Knights. And the same thing happens with Yami, how he says that he has a weird magic. He asks what magic... uh. Like, let's say two other people put up their hands because they saw potential in his magic, but they ask what his magic is. And let's say after a couple questions, the other two put their hands down. Yami still has his hand up. So he asks what his magic is. He says he has copy anti magic. He has, what is, Yami asks what is copy anti magic. He says, he has copy magic with anti magic. He's able to infuse basically anti magic with his copy magic. 
they sort of think this is like the two grimoire thing, like uh, the ice guy had here, how he had an ice and fire grimoire. But uh, they, uh, Asa says he just thinks that uh, that his grimoire is just a copy grimoire that copied anti magic somehow. Blah blah blah. I'm gonna end it here. It is getting really hot out.